Hi, welcome to Effective and Efficient Learning Note-Taking Apps. I'm Rachel and I'm just here to tell you about my experiences using my iPad for note-taking during class. So the tools I use for this are my tablet, my Apple Pencil, and the Notability app, which many of our local schools actually have downloaded on their school-issued technology, like their iPads. So what got me using Notability was some research I did when I was deciding whether or not to buy a tablet. And a YouTuber that I like to follow, who's very good at studying and posts a lot of great videos, talked about how studies prove if you actually write your notes rather than typing them, you retain it better. And so that's why I purchased the Apple Pencil and the iPad was specifically to use Notability. I will share that YouTuber's video on this event blog, and the event blog link will be in the description of this video, because he has a lot better ideas for taking notes than I do, um, and a lot different kinds, more analytical notes than what I take, and so they watching a video from him would be really useful. Um, and then I will share a quick tour of Notability, and just kind of some of the stuff I have started doing using it. So here we are in my Notability app, which I like to think of as a file cabinet with drawers. I have three doors that, drawers that are divided between work, school, and home. And then each drawer has file folders, which are my dividers, that are divided into more detailed topics. So the drawers are the subjects and the file folders are the dividers. So there's also the divider, All Notes, which keeps all of your notes in one place as well. Any note that you create will by default be put in All Notes unless you put it in a specific divider or you move it to that divider, which is very intuitive and you can just pick it up and slip it into the divider you want it to go into. Another nice feature in Notability is the search feature, which allows you to search the divider that you are in or the sub that subject that you are in for a specific word. And so if, this is really nice if you're doing research or something, you can just look up a certain word and find all the notes you have taken on that to help you find the information you're needing at that time. So to create a note, you're going to want to press the icon that looks like a little piece of paper and a pencil up in the top right hand corner. So as you can see, it opens up to a new note and you can write on it, you could type on it, um, whatever you need to do. And then that note is saved in the All Notes file until you put it wherever you want it. There's a lot you can do with your note in Notability. I think one of my favorite things is being able to scan a document or take a picture of something and then write right on that picture. You can take notes on it. You can go straight to a web page. So if you're in a conference and they tell you about a great resource on the web, you can go straight to that web page and, and put it right in your note. So you can go back to that note and then straight to that web page later. You can add stickies like post-it notes, stickers, all kinds of fun things that can help you make your notes more useful. Let me show you something I like to do. Something I really like is the ability to add gifts into your note, which everyone loves a good gift, right? But I use it to help me remember things. Um, I put this gift in a specific note because I was um, trying to remember the difference between physical and social infrastructure and the importance of both for a community and it just is something that helps trigger my memory. So that is really useful when you're trying to keep uh, notes that are gonna help you really study later. Another thing that helps me take notes is the arrow feature. You can draw a messy arrow and it turns into this nice neat arrow that you can point in any direction. You can draw shapes to take notes in. I like to put lines through them and make like little graphs and things like that, that I can keep track of vocabulary and things like that. You can make these filled, not filled, whatever color you want them to be. You can add stickers that you will use to write in to help you remember things as well, which I, you can't turn down a sticker. They're just too fun. You can also add post-it notes and you might notice that I'm changing the size and the style of these very quickly and very easily. You can also magnify the page as much as you want for while you're writing on it. 
and you can just make it just what you need. In the bottom corner, you there's a little store icon, and in that you can purchase themes and stickers, and there's even a um, planner coming out in 2021. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with this, and right now I have mine decorated with a cute little fall theme. I believe you can also create your own themes if you want to get creative. One last thing I'd like to show you about Notability is that you can actually download PDFs right into your note. So I keep all of my articles and all of my notes and all of my lessons for one module in one note on Notability, and you can even search and bookmark these pages. And it's just a really handy way to be able to find your information all in one place. Thank you for attending Getting the Most from Your Gadgets, Efficient and Effective Note-Taking app, note taking with Note-Taking Apps. Um, I really feel like this video only just scratched the surface and I would like to do another one that's about annotating articles and taking notes during lectures and so I might have another one coming here to share soon. Um, I'm just a nerd who thinks that taking notes is fun. Um, I will share some cool videos on our event page so please be sure to visit it. And um, our next event is going to be my one I'm most excited about, Share the Fun, Share the Reads, Creating a Bookgram.